I am taking a journey to the Enderman farm, the Ender Ender, because I have an idea for a really fun, I think, thing. Uh, but I need a ton more Ender Pearls. I'm kind of low. I got a few stacks, but I'm sort of low in Ender Pearls. Um, but if you need Ender Pearls, this is your place. So I'm gonna gather and kind of tell you what I'm thinking, what I'm gonna do. And uh, this shouldn't take long because they uh, they accumulate fast. So I was watching Jefferson's last video. He was looking for the stronghold, ironically, um, that I'm in the end. Oh well, okay. I don't. I guess need to wait too long for the. Oh my God! There's so many of them. Okay, well. I don't need to turn this on. Um, I'll explain on my way back. So Jefferson was um, was looking for a stronghold and ended up finding the same one, but that's beside the point. He was throwing his, um, you know, the, the your, your eye of Ender, and it pointed, and then he was Ender pearling around, and he did a few where he like jumped ender pearl to land on an island and then ender pearl to land off of an island and it was really cool like really precise ender pearling and i thought it was really cool it gave me the idea for sort of ender pearl golf slash uh like skills challenge so um you take a bunch of ender pearls you have like x number of ender pearls to get from the beginning of the course to the end of the course, but there's, like, obstacles in the way. Um, some things you have to, like, throw them up and land on, like, an island, a floating island. Um, oh, hey. Some things you have to, um, like, throw them through an out, through a barrier, through, like, a hole or an obstacle or something like that. And I thought that might be really cool. Wait, wait, we won the game real fast. Okay. I thought that might be really cool. So... I am going to take... I don't need... Well, there we go. I'm pretty good for now. I'm going to take a bunch of ender pearls and some building materials and head out to the far away area um, just to do some, like, proof of concept on these... Um, the different, like, challenge things that I want to do. I think that might be kind of fun. Whee! You know what? I'm going to go do it near the city of Apple where everything is orange because... Oh, oh, and there's something else to show you over there. Wait! Remember the mysterious thing that we, uh... That we found that was like, oh, this is a thing, and this is a thing, and this is a thing? It's a real thing now. All right, here we are at... da da da, -da the not-finished-yet-but-still-cool arena. Here's some to-do things. Whoa, that's a big to-do list, guys. Get your crap together. Put personal items away before starting the match. There's no chest. Switch. Turn off game while players are still online. Okay, up is off, down is begin. This is the tunnel to the redstone. Put personal items away. There's nowhere to put them. I think it's just so you don't lose thing, lose everything. So that's fine. Three, two, one, go, open, and then you run through here and open, and you're in the arena. So, oh, my inventory is full, so it didn't... Oh, crap. <laughs> it hands you a bunch of armor that... Wait, I want to I wanna get back, but I can't because it's a one-way door. Um, oh, no. Um, yeah, so you get a bunch of, seriously, no chest? Where's the chest, guys? Where's the chest? Uh, let me drop my, ditch all my stuff. Oh, I picked up some. Let me ditch some ender pearls, the thing I came here for, to pick up your armor. Okay, so you get a bunch of armor, and you head out into the arena. The official CPK, I don't know what that stands for. PvP Arena Defensive Gear. You get this stuff. You get a green bow and a green sword. So I'm in the green team, I suppose. Um, and then you come out and fight. The, now, obviously, this still is not done. But the thing 
I just thought Biran showed this off in his last episode, and I thought it was so cool that I couldn't not also show it off. The um, the three, two, one, go countdown. Well, let me put this armor away, <laughs> if I can. I'm gonna put this uh, stuff in your in your chest in the city of Apple, in case um, in case you need it. I don't know where to put it. Other than, oh wait, threw it clear over. Okay, let me hit the meerkat in the butt. All right, here's a perfectly good example of the thing I'm trying to do. I want to throw this ender pearl into that thing. Oh, it's a little far. Not bad. A little far. So that's the sort of thing that I want to do. Is like. You're standing here, there's your target, throw your ender pearl and land it inside the target. That's kind of the idea. So, uh, also, this giant uh, orange Wu-Tang symbol is pretty funny. So, let's go out here into this plains and just play around with this a little bit. Um, nice, this is a perfect flat experiment zone. So, here I'm going to throw this ender pearl like... Uh, that far. Okay. And then, this, so, I'm gonna build a little, a little target zone. None of this is gonna be well done. <laughs> Just trust me. So, here's the little target area. So, where was I standing before? I was off this way by the giant Wu-Tang. Well, now that's not a good example because I can't see it. Wait, let me get up on here. So you're like, oh, there's the next zone. I want to try to land in there. And you got to throw your ender pearl. Oh, too short. It's hard. One of the things I want to figure out is how big of the area I need to make them, how close together they need to be. Nice. Perfect. I landed inside it. So the reason I was calling it golf is I'm sort of thinking that, like, you're the golf ball. <laughs> the ender pearls are the golf ball, but also you're the golf ball trying to get in the hole. This felt, that felt like a good area. Three by three kind of felt like a good zone. It's tough, but doable. Um, so the ender pearls are kind of the ball, but also you're trying to get yourself in whatever you're going. So I got things, I want to do things like this. So maybe, like, you, this kind of serves as a backboard, but also as, like, a platform. Maybe you can climb up here and throw to the next one. Or maybe you can't move once you land. I kind of like that. But you don't have very good visibility. So maybe this has to be, like, a flat area or something. What if I remove the... Yeah, so say I'm in here now. So wherever you land, if you're inside it... Or... Maybe like golf, it's um you have it's the number of strokes you get. So you throw it in here, you land in here, that's one. If you miss, you can't advance until you get in here. So if you land like here, then you gotta do that to get and then once you land here, then you gotta throw to the next one. Unfortunately, it's kinda tough to see where you're going if it's all flat, which I didn't think about. Maybe these have to be, like, up in... They have to, like, alternate. Maybe go up in the air. Let me build one up in the air and just see. Like, not far away. Like, let's do it here. That's high enough. Um, so I'll do a three by... Three by three platform up here. And let's see how hard this is to land in. Okay. So I was down here. And now I'm like, oh, there's my next one. I got to be up there. Now that's going to go right over, way over top of it. So the, the long ones would actually be easier if they were closer. You got to throw it very up and kind of arc it down. Let's try this, like, throwing it straight up. That still went way over, right? Yeah. So, 
this is going to take up a ton of space if I'm going to arc them like that. Let me throw it st like straight up. That... Too, too high. Too high. Uh, too far. Too far. Um, I got to do it now. That looks like that might be good. Yeah! All right. So that's actually not... Imp so let's see. It's just a matter of practice. That's going to be too far. Wait, let me do another one. I think the second one's good. Second one felt good. No. Just a bit too far. All right. So you need Feather Falling Boots to play this game. That's for sure. Um, so short ones up in the air are really hard. I got to make it from here now. That looks promising. Too short. Hmm. So that's interesting, though. I didn't think of that, that it would be really hard to see what you're trying to do. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. That, now, does that, that doesn't count. You got to be inside it, but that was close enough. So there's that. I also was thinking I should have brought a bed. Are there sheep around? <laughs> Can I make a bed? I don't want to deal with this nighttime thing out here with no lights. <sighs> Alright, I'll wait. Alright, played around on my phone until the morning. And here we go. So, um, so that's kind of tough. Let me build another one. Well, let me throw it like, like that. Like, this is where it should be. It should land, I think. That seems like a reasonable distance for an air platform that wasn't too hard not too hard to 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 land in right cuz that's a reasonable angle to throw your ender pearls although both are fair you know you're trying to, this is supposed to be a challenge um let me see if i can land in this one more easily and poof. All right, cool. Um, nice. That was already pretty close. Okay, so let's go like that. How's that? Oh, really close. See, that felt more of a reasonable angle to throw at, I think. Like, straight up is kind of silly. Straight up is kind of silly, but... Like, that angle, that looks real good. That looks good. Oh, too short. So close, though. All right. Um, one more try. I think that, that was a little too high. A little too high. So, like, that. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I made it. I made it in. Very nice. Okay. So, I'm happy with this distance for a, uh, for a long one. So let me tear this one down. And then, um... Oh, thanks, Boots. Let me tear this one down and see... See what to do next. So another thing I was thinking about doing with this was... Whoa! Flash of flowers. That bug is still around. That's interesting. Was to do... Like, obstacles. For example... If I want to land here, I'm just going to actually, instead of build another 3x3, three three, I'm just going to carve out a 3x3. Three three. Right here. This is my new landing zone. Obviously, throwing from here to there is pretty... Actually, not super easy if you're at even level, even plane, or if it's up from you. That was not super super easy to do. Huh. That didn't occur to me. That that actually would be pretty hard. I guess I can let you jump? Although I really want you to stand, have to stand still. In the golf sense. So maybe these have to be like, down. Or... Hmm. Yeah, going down... Basically, you have to change planes because you can't, like, throw it into a little hole. That doesn't make sense. Anyway, let me... Alright, so let me make another one down here. 
Uh, let's do another three by three. That's a two by three. I don't know how to count. Okay, so there's my goal from here. And that's obviously like, oh, hey, let me just poof, right? That's super easy to do. So so there's a few things I can try. Um, first one would be you have to throw it through a little hole, obviously. Now, this is much harder because you can't see it. And I missed. Actually, that might be impossible because the egg takes away the angle. Let's see if I not hit the wall. All right. What if that was too high? That actually might not be. Oh, did I get an endermite? I saw little things. Um, so that might be impossible, what I've just done there, because you can't see it because it's too close. So let me make this a little farther away. All right, now this one is a little more doable. So now I'm throwing it through a hole. I missed all right, now I'm throwing it through the hole here into the next one. Very nice. That's doable. Um, so that sort of thing I like. Making a little wall, I like, except that you can't see. So it'd have to be a wall of glass, which I don't have. Let's pretend, let's pretend that this is a wall and I have to throw it over. That's sort of like the close, that might not be doable, because that's sort of like the close version of this, where you have to throw it like straight up to get into here. Let me just try it. Just like, look straight up, and then like angle down a little tiny bit, and see where I end up. Okay. Let's... There. Where does that send me? Okay. So that's really hard. And I'm not sure... I kind of want this to be like a practical applications of Ender Pearls sort of challenge. You know, like, to make it... You know, obviously it's a silly game, but also like kind of, kind of a practice... Oh, I missed. Sort of a practice thing in the sense of like... It, when you're playing and you need to redstone... You need to, you need to Ender Pearl around... I want you to be like, all right, I can, I can land on that island, or I can land on that platform, you know? So throwing, like, this, like, straight up to go, like, no distance isn't so much a practical application of red, of, of, I don't keep saying redstone, of ender pearl. So maybe not, not that so much, but the throwing through obstacles, definitely, I just have to angle them in such a way that you can... So no walls, basically. No walls to throw over. That's stupid. That doesn't make sense. But holes and, like, funny angles, I definitely could see happening. I liked the first one that I did. So what other things can I have now? Let's do a one way, a full, a full course or like a, a sort of a circular. Cause that's kind of how golf. So a, a generally an 18 hole golf course or a nine hole golf course. Well, generally golf courses, they loop around on themselves. So they'll go out this way and then like over, not in one hole, but like over the course of the course, they go out and then they'll come like the first hole will go out that way and then they'll go around and then the ninth hole will come back this way. And then sometimes then the, the 10th to the 18th holes will go out the other way, but they always end, start and end in the same place. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe that's too far. Maybe do a, like a looping. Is that going to come straight down my face? Yeah. So boop, boop. Let's see if I can get up in there from here. Nope. Too, too close. Um, this is very hard. <laughs> this is very... This is actually harder than I expected to do. To, like, successfully make. Alright, let me... Let me get close on the close side and throw in there. That might be it. That might make it. No, alright. Let's do a straight up and... Come on. No. 
All right, straight up. No, that's gonna come straight down. Wait, let's angle it a little bit. Come on, Endermite. Oh, it just missed again. I have to move. I can't stand still for this one. Come on. I really am misjudging the angles. All right, that's gotta make it. There we go. All right, we're inside. It's nighttime again. I need to go back and get a bed. This is stupid. And go to sleep. Nope, there's monsters nearby. That, of course there are. Why did I do that? I'm stupid, bummy idiot. All right, let's just shoot them in the face real quick with a flaming bow and arrows. Let's kill all the monsters so I can take a nap in the park. The park, not really a park. The woods, the woods, but not really the woods. The plains, what's the biome called? The plains, the plains. Okay, there we go. There's my little song. Oh, I have a skeleton playing. Oh, that was nice of you. Thanks for testing. I have a playtesting skeleton. All right, so. Um, let's try to make it into there. Come on, come on. That looks like a good one. Oh, so close. Okay. That should make it, though. Perfect. So that was two shots. I'm thinking, the more I think about it, you have to be able to move around in here. You can't um, stand perfectly still because... Some of the things you won't be able to see wherever you land, you have to be able to walk around to the edges. That's fine. So you can walk around. I'm thinking you can walk around in the hole, <laughs> but you can't um, jump to throw. You can jump to look around. Actually, frankly, you can leave to look around. Like in golf, you can walk around as much as you want to plan your shot, to look where you're going to do it. But once you shoot, you got to stand still. So I'm thinking for the rules, you can, you can walk, you can leave, you can go scout what you got to do next. You can whatever, whatever, whatever. But once you shoot, you got to get in here and shoot and throw your from here. So that's the first shot from here to here. The second shot, let's, oh, that island is perfect. Is it too far? Can I reach it? Can I reach the island? Let's do optimal angle. Boom. Oh, it's too far. Am I going to enderpearl to the bottom of the ocean? Yup. <laughs> Not what I wanted to do. The island looked like such a cool target, though. Maybe I'll do a, a second shot to the island, because it is... The islands are what inspired me to do this in the first place. Although, now thinking about it, that would be impossible for the game. Because... The idea is is that when you land, you have to shoot from wherever you are, and you couldn't make a shot from underwater if you missed the island. So that doesn't work, but it was a cool idea. So let's say, let's throw from here uh, down, let's do one down here. So this will be my next target zone. Okay. Um, there we go. So this is my next target zone. Um, so let me see, and let me build one more, maybe, all right, I'll do one here and then one here and kind of do it in a circle. So from here, let's... I should have brought something other than dirt. Because the dirt blends in so well, I can't, see, I can't see these. Obviously, when I'm building this as a real thing, I'll use something that really stands out, like a bright colored clay or wool or something like that. I was just... I figured I'd be wasting a lot of blocks, so I wanted to bring something cheap. Alright, cool. So here's... So you go, let me build a little, like a little tower on each of them. Boop, boop. 
This is just for visibility. Um, okay, this is level... This is number two, right here. That one's pretty evident. I think you can see the tower just fine. You don't need a thing for that. Uh, and then this one... There we go. Okay, so there's the... Um, the levels. I'm gonna knock this one out. And do one over here for this. And then you gotta end here again. Let's say. No, this one though, you gotta shoot over a gap. So that is another cool thing that I can implement as from golf. Not necessarily that the ops, the holes are hard to get in, but that it's hard to recover once you missed. So I think this should be another raised one. I think. Maybe not raised as much though. Maybe just raised by three. Yeah. From here to here, and then from here to there. Um, let's raise it by three. So that is in golf. One of the ways that they make the 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 level the hole harder is by um, making it basically. There's more of a penalty for missing. So, oh no! I hate that feature of this game. <laughs> when you open your inventory, you lose your shifting. Um. So. Like, this last one, say, you have to throw over a chasm of, like, lava. Or, not lava, but, like, you have to throw it over something dangerous, so if you miss, it's harder to recover from, say, for example. Okay, let's try to do it! So, there's our first hole here. Let's go, I think, there. That felt good. Nice! All right. So, our second shot, there, and then there, and then there. So, let's go with the, this, I think? Oh, I missed. Okay, so, that was one, two, three. Now, this is our next shot. That's going to be a little tricky, because it's flat. No, missed. Four, five. Now, to get up here, now, this is going to be a big, a big arcing one. So, maybe, like, that? Too much, too much height. And now that, whoa. Okay, so I'm instituting a rule. If you get a glitchy thing, you can move to stop glitching so you don't have a, whoa, what am I, what's happening? Okay, there we go. That doesn't count as a stroke. Five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so here we go with this one. That might be too far. Oh, actually, it feels good. feels good. Seven, nice, and then here's my goal. Uh, eight, nice, yeah, I did it. All right, that was fun. I enjoyed that a lot. Proof of concept, successful. Um, so here's my proof of concept golf course, guys. Come play it. So I want to spend a little time at some point in the future. This isn't. I'm not gonna. Maybe, I'm probably not gonna build this immediately. Um, but I need to spend some time in creative mode, kind of planning, planning this out a little better with the holes and exactly where they're going to be. I liked the up, down, like up, maybe this one went up and then down, down, up, down, sort of like varying the heights. So you have to make different kind of throws. I also want to play around with the terrain, maybe make like a big chasm in between these or like put this up on a kind of like an island so that if you miss you fall like way down and you have to cuz this is a thing that happens in golf when you miss is that say basically it's impossible to make the shot from the place that you land and you have to throw out and then back so like say if the front of this is like all knock is like all carved out and maybe it goes like underneath like it's impossible if it, like, went underneath it, like this, right? So maybe if you're short, or your angle is wrong, you land here, and it's impossible to get in from here, so you gotta go out, like that, and then try again, turn around and try again. That also could be, an, I did it again, so then I'd have to go back and forth. 
that is another idea I want to play with because that's a golf thing that I think it would be kind of a good penalty, a good like way to penalize you for or to like kind of spice it up and and make it not just like oh I was close, let me just try again real quick. I got good at that one. All right, awesome. So let me know what you guys think about this. Um I think it could be super fun and maybe a fun little mini game, you know, little mini server mini game thing on the server cuz everybody's making Oh, that was so close. Everybody's making stuff and it's cool and I want to make stuff and have it be cool. Did that make it? Yeah. All right. I also oh, one more thing. I also want to think of some kind of um some kind of redstoney sort of detection for this. Like maybe when you land, it makes a chime if you land in here. Because if you land on here, it doesn't count. If you land in here, it chimes or lights up or something. Maybe even there's a scoreboard. I don't know if you can keep track of Ender Pearl throws with the with the command block, but if someone knows, that would be Biran. Um you know, he just he just is command blocked up the arena. I would be very interested in command blocking up the golf course too in a very similar sort of way, like maybe keeping track, maybe just like uh, a chime when you land or some kind of like, yay, nice job, go for the next one, Um, that kind of stuff. Maybe it even like, this could be cool, maybe it even flashes the next one when you land. So when you land in here, well, you can't really, or unless there's like a beacon at each one, which would be crazy. But like if it flashed where you were supposed to go next, I don't know how that would work, but just spitballing. Um, so that was cool. <laughs> uh, let me know what you guys think. If you think this would be fun, if you have any suggestions for, for other things I can do with it, how I can make it more fun or like a different obstacles and different kinds of platforms and that kind of stuff. Uh, I'd love to hear any suggestions. Um, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I'll see you in the next time. Bye. The bye.